hey what is up guys today we are building a DIY battery pack so we have some 18650s right here so they are 2000 milliamp hour each and uh, I have a bunch of it and I'm about to build a DIY battery pack alright so what we're gonna need for this build is uh, this tape right here that's some captain tape good for heat and we have over here a BMS this is a 10s BMS yeah I'm about to build a 10s battery pack all right so in uh, here we also need a multimeter some solder a glue gun and a soldering iron all right so we are going to go ahead and uh, check these batteries to make sure they're all above 3.2 or so volts each and uh, it doesn't matter if you got these cells brand new or if you are recycling like i do you just have to check them and make sure there is no bad cells all right so let's go ahead and uh, check the batteries This is a bad cell. So this is also a bad cell. Alright, so I just checked all the batteries and here are the gold cells. We are going to go ahead and build a 10S 7P. Alright, so I have the batteries glued together. So I have a Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have a nine S seven P right now, so I have to make another seven P to make a tennis. All right, so let's get some other cells. It's not really good to combine them like that, but I don't have no choice, so I'm gonna do that to see how it performs. If not, I'm gonna have to like buy some of these cells to complete. All right, so yep, let's go ahead and solder the terminals together. In my case, I will be soldering, but you can use a, a, a spot welder if you have one, it would be better and safer because the batteries don't like heat. All right, so next step, I'm gonna use these wires that are stripped right here. And uh, I will be using these to solder. Right, so now I have some solder joints on the batteries. Now it's time to tin the wires.
All right, now I have these parallel connections set up. Now let's go ahead and put the whole pack together and make the tennis 7P. So now that we have this pack set up, I'm gonna go ahead and add this captain tape, just like that. Bye. 
20 good next will be 24 okay 25 that would depend on the the charge on the the battery itself all right so 29 good 33 good 37 good and then 41 so the balance wires are okay now we're gonna move to hooking up to the BMS itself all right so on the BMS you can uh, you can see three terminals you have C minus P minus and B minus so the terminal B minus goes to the negative of the whole pack. The P minus is used for the motor, but since this BMS is only rated on 16 amps, I will be using the batteries for a load that needs more than 16 amps. So I cannot use this P for um, to feed my motor. So I'm gonna use just I'm gonna just run two wires straight from the battery for discharging. And use C minus and uh, positive of the pack for charging. Hope that makes sense. All right. So this XT60 connector would be used for charging. So the negative goes on the C minus or charging negative okay that's hooked up now I will have to connect the B minus to the negative of the pack of the charger goes on the positive of the battery good goes to the negative of the battery the balance wires will go right here so 
here is the pack. Now I'm gonna get some shrink tube and shrink it down. Kinda hide the mess. So this one is hooked up to the BMS. Will be used for charging the battery. And this is straight from the cells. Will be used for discharging. So no sags or all that due to the BMS trying to limit the power. Alright, so that was it for how to build a DIY battery pack. You found it useful, make sure to leave a like, comment, and feel free to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, see you on the next video.